The Big Island has loosened some of its travel requirements. Vaccinated mainland travelers will be able to bypass the county's mandatory second test. The temporary program began yesterday and is expected to continue through May 1st. Nikki Shenfeld has details. Hawaii Island has required most incoming travelers to take a second COVID test on arrival since the start of the Safe Travels program. Since October, once Safe Travels began, how many cases approximately were caught by doing those post arrival tests? You know, Nikki, last I checked, I believe it was somewhere in the 180 to 190 range. Might even have gone up to 200 since then. Somewhere in the high hundreds for sure. Big Island travelers are still required to take part in the Safe Travels program even if they've been vaccinated. Passengers show screeners their pretest or go into quarantine. These travelers also have to take a second test, but a vaccinated traveler has another option. And there you hand them your card uh, and show proof that you indeed have been vaccinated and they tell you that you can skip that um, second line. Hawaii County says less than half of the 2,700 mainland travelers arriving on Thursday had been vaccinated. The county says testing only non-vaccinated travelers is a pilot program and helps cut down long lines at the airports. It's just a way of filtering through um, the arriving guests. He says the county will jump on board with the state's vaccine travel program once it's announced. You know, hopefully maybe this will give him an inclination of, of how effective or how quick it could be in the airports. Um, but for the most part, this is just to help us control our lines, and uh, we're not sure if it's going to affect or impact how the state moves forward. Hawaii Island's change comes as Maui finalizes plans requiring all mainland travelers to take a post-arrival test. That program is expected to begin by the end of the month. Oahu does not require travelers to take a test on arrival, and Kauai has a voluntary second test program in place. With different testing procedures for each island, some legislators hope a more uniform policy is implemented once a vaccine travel pass is announced. I think the, the administration is really looking at a uniform plan throughout the state. I still think that those people who have not been vaccinated or who have not gotten the pretest, I 100% believe they should be tested right when they arrive. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.